This is Colin O'Keefe of Lexblog with Steve Rebell of Edelman Digital. We're here at the uh, PLI conference on social media. One of the questions that I had, you talked a lot about overfriending in the modern day and how it's become uh, almost a little bit more challenging for people to establish credibility and to establish kind of a connection. How do both individuals and you know brands and companies really overcome that? Well, I think it's increasingly about sharing your expertise. And so the more you can kind of become somebody who is, is championing new ideas and being seen as a voice of authority and doing so kind of across four distinct media channels, uh, traditional media, this new group that we call Tradigital that are upstart media that are really kinds of like digitally native blogs, for example, social, and then your own website are, are going to be able to do that and do that on a regular basis will be the ones who kind of stand out and become validated sources of authority. Uh, one of the other things that you mentioned is one of the, the key things for people to do is to both I, kind of identify thought leaders, identify experts, and then also to for companies to, to curate information and then also become kind of publishing companies themselves. So part of that is both engaging outside information and bringing information in, which can be challenging for people because they don't necessarily want to bring in you know a competitor or outside points of view. And then to be a publishing company, sometimes people are afraid to uh, you know, kind of give away for information away for free. How do you get people to to not be afraid of this constant exchange information, whether it be coming out or going in? Well, I think there's two steps. First, you have to look at making sure they get become willing. You know, so how do you how to make them become like willing participants and actually want to do this? And that means tying into their motivations, mm -hmm. thinking about the psychology and and that you know what motivates you is very different than what motivates me. Mm -hmm. And each person is, is individual. So I think that's one. And then after that, it's kind of like saying, making it easy for them and making it lightweight and part of their job, ideally, is, is a perfect way to do that. And in terms of the fear, I think um, if you know what the motivations are, that, that could help overcome the fear. Mm -hmm. But if you kind of understand what, what gets people excited and what, what are those things that push their buttons in a good way, mm -hmm. you can kind of tap into it that way. Mm -hmm. And then one of the one of my favorite points that you made was on how social media in particular should be one percent of a hundred people's job as opposed to being a hundred percent of one person's job or, or, or that different type that of thing. You want to have a mix. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And then you know whether somebody is the the managing partner of a law firm or the the general manager of a baseball team, you know how do you again it goes back to that motivation but can you talk about you know in the past sort of experience you've had with this and how you motivate people to, to kind of get in that or just dip their dip well their I mean in? I think one way, one way is if you show them how it's part of their core job so if they're you know if they're front line and designed to, designed to bring in revenue show them how it can bring more revenue in if it's going to help them they want to have an influence on policy makers or you know or on uh, local officials you can show them how it helps with that if you want to uh, help them show them how it helps them build better relationships with their employees you can so you again you point to the motivations and then think about how you really integrate and also make it easy for them make it lightweight for them don't make it hard <laughs> start simple perfect perfect and then just the last point is you know how do you establish the relationship how do you view these relationships as the key part a lot of times people are afraid of of being personable, of showing personality, of being unique, whether that's, you know, you don't want people to answer questions just in the most stale form, but how do you get people to to convey personality and, and, and then through personality relationship? I think you show them, just you say, you show them how it's okay to be themselves. And, you know, and sometimes that it's okay to make mistakes. You want to make the right mistakes and you don't want to make the same mistake twice, but you, uh, but you want to, you know, show them that it's, being human is part of at least the social component of this, absolutely. And that's what we, we care about humans. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. That was perfect. Thank you.